What's going on guys? My name is Dan and today I'm going to be showing you how to break every single chain that is holding you back. I'm talking about how to achieve freedom in every single aspect of your life. This is going to be one of the most important videos, if not the most important video that I've ever created because I'm going to be showing you, I'm going to be breaking down how to achieve a life that 99.9% .9 of people can only dream of. And I'm talking about freedom. What is freedom? I'm talking about money freedom, wealth freedom, having the money to do whatever you want, whenever you want, never having to work a shitty nine to five job ever again, never having to listen to some boss who is just exploiting you, who is just basically making money off of your hard work, blood, sweat, and tears. How to live a life where you can book any Airbnb you want in any country you want. Just like right now, I'm on a three week uh, trip right here in beautiful New Zealand with this stunning background in beautiful Wanaka, New Zealand. And you know, I thought to myself, what better place than to film this video for you here today and break down how to achieve freedom. Who am I? I'm Dan Vass. I'm an eight-figure entrepreneur. I've made $15 million online in various online businesses, starting in e-commerce back in 2017. When I was 21 years old, all I wanted to do was just figure out a way to escape the matrix, escape the slavery that I was, I realized I was born into and that I was stuck in. You know, this slavery that I'm talking about, you might be thinking, come on, slavery, it's a harsh word. It's really not. We are all born into a system where we're enslaved from the moment that we're born all the way until we die. How? Well, from the moment that you're born, you are plugged into a system that benefits the high ups, the elite, not you. It's a system that benefits the people who already have assets and, you know, basically at the expense of everybody else. It's a complete exploitation of the 99% in favor of the 1%. And so... The only way to beat that system is to unplug yourself from it. And I want to be showing you here how to not only unplug yourself from it with money, with building an online business, because online business, I know for a fact, is the best way to get started on your road to freedom. It's the first level that you must reach to get out of survival mode. What I'm talking about survival mode is, you know, constant worrying about your bills, about your paycheck, about uh, not meeting your rent, about how much gas costs, like stupid bullshit that like at the end of your life, you're not even going to be thinking about, right? What is life all about? Life is all about achieving freedom, achieving your purpose and living a life that you were brought here to live by your creator. And I'm here to show you how to get there. The reason I am where I am in the first place here is because I decided to follow my intuition. I decided to really listen and tune in to the whispers that were coming from my soul telling me that there was so much more for me out there in my life than just, you know, working a shitty job and just climbing the corporate ladder at the, you know, benefit of others, the benefit of my boss and my company, the corporation, the government, everybody except me. And I listened to those whispers that my intuition was telling me every single day, you got to get out, you got to get out, you got to get out, you got to figure out a way to unplug because there is a life that is waiting for you that is your true destiny. But freedom isn't given, freedom is fucking earned. And so because it is earned, well, you must have the correct information to actually achieve it. The reason I'm able to be in New Zealand right now, and the reason I'm able to do what I do and make, you know, while my online businesses are making thousands of dollars every single day, is because I got out of survival mode, I started an online business, I pushed through the failures and the obstacles, and I made it work. Okay, and then from that, I use that as a launch pad. I use that as a starting point and I started adding in more income streams on top of that. So my first business was an Amazon FBA business, which is still a great business to start. Even, you know, many people, there's a lot of naysayers. There's always gonna be haters. Okay, just remember that. There's always gonna be haters no matter what. If you're a skeptical right now, that's completely fine. I'm gonna break through all of your skepticism. I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna prove to you how my life like how me and you are not so different. You know, even though you might be looking at me and being like, oh, like you're a talented YouTuber, all this, like you have talent, there's a reason, you know, you got lucky, all this crap, it's not true. 80% of millionaires are self-made, 80%, 80%. Never forget that, okay? A lot of people think, a lot of people, they create excuses in their head because they want to, you know, justify mediocrity to themselves. But the longer you do that, you know, all that time that you're doing that, you're still gonna be looking at Instagram, you're still gonna be looking at YouTube and all these people living amazing lives that you want, but you're gonna be creating excuses in your head you know, telling yourself why you can't achieve that. And I also want to say, you know, it doesn't matter where you're from. If you're from America, if you're from Canada, if you're from like, quote unquote, a first world country, fantastic. This is going to be definitely easier for you. You know, there's countries in the world where average wages and, you know, the amount of money you make every month is much lower. And so you have a lower amount of money to actually use to funnel into your business, right? Money is fuel. That's all money is. Money is fuel for freedom. Money is fuel for happiness. Money is fuel to get shit done and get shit created that you want to create, whether that's an online business, you know, whether that's a beautiful house you want to build, whether that's, uh, 
a new product you want to launch, right? Money is fuel. Whether that's you want to help a charity, you want to save the world, you want to, you know, help, you know, save killer whales, for example, right? Or you want to save animals or you want to, you know what I mean? There's all these different causes. Money is fuel to let your dreams flourish and come true, right? That's why that's the first level of freedom. And so it doesn't matter where you're from. If you're from America, if you're from Africa, if you're from Asia, if you're from Iceland, Norway, Russia, doesn't matter, China, it doesn't matter where, Brazil, Argentina, South America, Hawaii, uh, the Pacific Islands, you can also achieve this. In today's world, the internet has unlocked freedom for everybody, okay? All it has to do is with your ultimate willpower to achieve that freedom. Just remember that, okay? Don't create excuses in your head. That's the most important part. And I'm not kidding when I say this. Like, literally, if I was born in literally like Afghanistan, all right? If I was born in Afghanistan and, you know, it's a war-torn country and, you know, the opportunities to achieve freedom are very limited, there is still a way. There's still a way because how it works in this world is that if there is a will, there is a way. Ask and you shall receive. Seek and you shall find. Seek and the road will be shown to you or seek and the door will be open to you, right? And I know maybe that's not the exact quote, but you got what I'm saying. It's a famous quote and it's true. It doesn't matter who you are, where you're from, you can do this. Just believe me. I have nothing to gain by, by fooling you. Trust me. So where would I start on my way to freedom? Let's say that, you know, um, you take a look at your life right now and you're like, okay, this is where I'm at today. How do I start? Like what's even the first step, right? Well, step one, I would take an honest, real, no bullshit inventory of your life or of my life, right? So what I would do if I were you right now, I would look at every single one of these variables I'm about to mention, and I would honestly just like rate them from one to 10, okay? So we start with money, all right? Let's say 10 is you're super rich, you're like, you know, you have cash coming in, you know, every single day, you're just balling, you're just balling in cash, okay? So that would be a 10. One is like, you're so poor, you're like homeless, you know, you're just, it's just, everything is horrible, okay? So money, I'll tell you where I was when I started 21, I was probably like a three, you know, I still had a roof over my head. I had the opportunity to live with my parents when I was like 21, you know? Um, and so in that way, I guess I was lucky just in that way, but I still took action, right? You know, uh, one important thing about luck is that for luck to actually um, come into your life, you actually have to be looking for it. And the only way to look for it is to be taking action every single day, every single fucking day. You have to show up and you have to be looking for that luck because that's when luck will, you know, catch you. And then that's when it will propel you up to freedom, the freedom that you're looking for. So for me, for my money, I would rate it a three. I was $40,000 in debt, in college debt. I basically was making, I think it was after tax, 28000 or something like that. Something stupid. It's something so low. I'm sorry, if you make that amount of money, I didn't mean to offend you. Okay, I'm, we're, we're going to get you to that income that you want. Okay, that's the point. My point is, is, especially in today's world, like, you know, you need to be making at least, at the very least, six figures, multiple six figures, if you want to have any kind of semblance of a life of freedom. Okay, multiple six figures. Okay, I call it the freedom number. 10K a month. That's the freedom number. And the reason why I call it the freedom number is because at 10K a month or more, uh, from an online business, it has to be an online business, and I'll explain why. At 10K a month or more, now you have a level of freedom in your life. You're out of survival mode, and you know now you're not worried about stupid bullshit like the price of groceries, the price of gas, inflation. Oh my God, constantly complaining. All right. So for me, money was a three. Um, you know, for you, assign a rating. Uh, maybe you know if if you're uh, let's just say in your 30s, you're a little bit more established. You have some savings. Maybe you have like I don't know 30K saved up. Maybe put it like a four. You know, but just be honest, all right? Don't, don't bullshit here. Okay, next is health. Okay, you want to assign a rating from 1 to 10 in your health. So 10 would be you feel literally amazing at all hours of the day, every day. You're never tired and you just feel incredible. That's a 10. One, you're uh, a cancer patient and you're on your deathbed. Almost dead, okay? So rate your health from 1 to 10, okay? If you're, I would say, quote unquote, average, normal, you probably experience some symptoms every day, probably some minor symptoms, maybe some moderate symptoms, and you kind of just brush them off. Doctors maybe put you on a medication or two. So if you're the average person, I would say that your health is probably at a five, okay? So for me, when I started at 21, my health is probably at a seven, I would say. You know, I didn't have any major health issues whatsoever. I was a healthy young guy, but I still, I still like, was kind of tired and I always had to rely on caffeine all the freaking time to basically live and function and really be at my best. And uh, yeah, so that I'd say like a seven or eight for me when I started, okay? Um, and, and you'll see where I'm going with this. Now, wealth, okay? Now, wealth is different from money and income. Wealth is your assets, okay? Wealth is about building lifelong wealth and then generational wealth after. So in this case, one to 10, a 10 would be like, you know, you're literally like, uh, 
John D. Rockefeller. You know, you're like Bill Gates. You're one of those, okay? So that's the standard we're setting. Like you have so many assets, you're like, holy shit, okay? And a one in wealth would be you have absolutely zero assets. In fact, you have a negative net worth. And what a negative net worth is essentially you have more credit card debt or I'm not counting your mortgage because like mortgages, like, you know, houses can actually be a good investment. And I'll, this is for another video, um, you know, if it's a smart investment and, and all that. So, you know, don't count that in your net worth like as like a negative thing. Uh, most people, they have a lot of debt in their mortgage and stuff like that. So like compared to like the amount of money they have, obviously the mortgage exceeds it. I would say more things like credit card debt and things that just carry a high interest rate. So a one out of 10 in this case would be somebody who has absolutely no assets. They have like $100,000 in credit card debt at like 30% yearly that like their interest payment is something absurd on every month. They're literally enslaved. Uh, they have zero assets and they're just stuck in such deep slavery that they can never even build assets, right? And by the way, you always can. You always can. There's always a way. Remember what I said? So for me, wealth at the time, um, I didn't have any assets. I wasn't, I was in college debt. I was 40K in college debt. Um, I would say that from one to 10, when I was 21 years old, probably like a three. Okay. I wasn't like, you know, in crazy debt, but I was like a three. Okay. My happiness. Okay. So we're going to rate your happiness. How happy are you with your current life from one to 10? 10, you literally love your life. Your life is euphoric every day. You're in love with your life. You're like, oh my God, I have the best life ever. One, you're deeply, deeply depressed. And you know, you're like living really, there's just no purpose to it anymore for you. You don't find you, you're, you're, you're not even, you're so jaded every single day that you're just like, ah, I don't really care whatsoever. Right. And so, and, and by the way, your health actually plays into that as well. If you do feel those feelings of depression, um, you know, it could actually be a health issue. And I'll talk about that. I will make a lot of videos on the health aspect. If you want me to uh, leave me a comment down below if you do. So for my happiness back when I was 21 years old and I was starting and now I'm 27, by the way, uh, when I was starting, I'd say my happiness was like, honestly, like a seven. I wasn't like depressed or anything. And I was in good health too. And that plays a role in your happiness. Like, you know, actually your happiness, a big part of it is a product of your physical health. If you have health issues that you don't know about that doctors don't particularly don't necessarily know about either you know your happiness might be struggling that's something important to explore as well we will in other videos um leave me a comment down below if you want me to make more videos about health and about the truth about health because i have my own journey about health which is a crazy fucking story it's on my channel um it, maybe it's for another time uh, i got i got poisoned by my housekeeper for two years almost died uh and i recovered and i literally almost died like this was an attempt on my life and i'm not making this up and it's just a miracle for me to even be sitting here right now, but I learned a lot. I found an, I found a literally like the Einstein, the Mozart of medicine. He saved my life and taught me a lot. He was kind of like my health mentor. And yeah. So anyway, um, happiness was like a seven, um, rate yourself one to 10. Okay. Purpose. So 10 in this case is your life purpose. 10, you found your life purpose every single day. You're like, I'm on my life purpose. There's not even a question about, you know, what it is. I know what it is right? One, you're completely lost. You have no life purpose. You don't even, you, you can't even begin to think about your life purpose because you're so stuck in debt or you're so, you're, you, you know, you're, you're stuck in such a bad situation where you're just in such a deep level of slavery, which is the opposite of freedom. So for me, back when I was 21, I would say my purpose was like at a five, I was definitely halfway. Um, I didn't know that my purpose was to help people in today's day and age achieve freedom and free themselves and live an amazing life. I did not know that. Um, I only found that out when I actually uh, made, started making some money online and I started to, uh, you know, start my online businesses. I started my first and then, you know, so on, I built upon that. And then once I achieved a level where I was out of survival mode and I had some money and I was able to travel and things like that, my purpose just kind of came to me and it became so obvious to me that I just started living it and my life just exponentially improved. So when I was starting out, I'd rate myself at like a five. Reason being is that I already had some like whispers in my soul that like I'm, my life is going to have to do with like, you know, documenting my journey and sharing the truth with people and like showing people. I just knew it was going to be about like sharing with people, sharing something with people and like the truth, the truth, the truth. And, you know, so I knew that, but I just didn't know the depth of it. So I'd say I was like at a five. Now, the last one is soul fulfillment. This is kind of like happiness, kind of like purpose, but it's really like all encompassing. Okay. A 10 in soul fulfillment is you literally are so awakened and so enlightened and so like on your mission and every single day you're like you're just you feel one with god like that's all i can explain okay you feel one with source and this is not a religious video when i mention god you know just replace it with uh whatever term you want to use whether that's universe source um you know for me i like to call them god um and so so i would say a 10 is like you literally feel one with god like god is in you you are the living embodiment of god and you are completely fulfilled every every single day 
So that's a, that's a 10. And a 1 out of 10 soul fulfillment would be complete disconnection from source, complete disconnection from God, complete disconnection from your soul. You literally feel dead inside. That's a 1. I would say when I was 21, my soul fulfillment, I was probably like at a 5 or a 6. I would probably a 5. Um, you know, I didn't really, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that I was awakened or enlightened or anything else like that. I was just, I was just a newbie. I was just getting started on my journey. So, you know, for me, it was just, it was just the beginning. But I didn't feel dead inside. I felt like I was awakening. I didn't know to what but I knew that it was to the truth, right? So now what you want to do is you want to take an average of all of those, okay? Uh, so basically just add every single score that you gave yourself and then divide it by six, okay? And so if you got anything below a five as your average, you really need to be starting like today. Like time is ticking and if you don't take action, your life is only going to get worse. You know, in life, you're only either going up or you're going down. You're never maintaining it, like staying the same, it's like, imagine you're going to the gym. You know, if you go to the gym and you don't increase your weights, you don't improve, what's going to end up happening is you're actually going to like lose muscle and like go down in fitness because try going to the gym and maintaining. It's actually really hard. You can only go to the gym and improve. You can't really go and maintain. Anybody who says they, they're maintaining, they're just bullshitters because they're the people that are just giving themselves excuses for not improving, right? So in life, you always either go up or you go down. That's it. There's no in between. If you're under a five, you need to be listening to this video and to what I'm about to say because it's time for you to get your life better. Make it right and unlock true freedom. If you're like five to a seven, okay, still listen to the video. There's things you can improve. And if you're seven to 10, well, you don't need this video. You know, why are you listening to me? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'd, I'd assume that most of you, you know, if you answered honestly, most people, like 99% of people are definitely not above like a six. Uh, they're definitely, most people I'd say are probably sad to say like a three or a four. Okay. And so to get to a, you know, to get to like an eight on average, that's really your goal. If you can get to an eight, you're living like you are living, you know, you're going to radiate this beautiful energy, this beautiful aura wherever you go. And you're literally going to be like just a magnet. You know, you're going to be just like radiating this positivity and people, they're going to pick up on that. And they're going to be like, well, what is this? Like, who is this person? You know, why? Uh, why do I feel so good around them? You know, and it's because you radiate God energy. You radiate soul energy. That's soul fulfillment right there. That's good health, happiness, wealth, freedom, being on your purpose, right? So now it's time to begin to dive in. And I would say the very first uh, uh, area that you want to focus on is money and your income. And the reason why is because when you have money, everything else becomes easier. Money doesn't directly create happiness, but it creates the conditions, the possible conditions for happiness. So as you start making money and as you build an online business, and the reason why it's an online business is because an online business is by far the best vehicle in the 21st century to get you location independence, money freedom, and also the ability to scale your income infinitely, right? For example, me, when I was starting in 2017, I had an Amazon FBA business that I started and, you know, uh, basically selling products online and sourcing from Alibaba, uh, like in China. Um, now you can source from a lot of other places as well. But when I started, um, and I succeeded not right away, but you know, it took a couple months, um, you know, with good, with good information and everything else like that. None of this takes so long. It doesn't take as long as you think. Trust me. It's definitely not like years or anything else like that. And when I started my Amazon FBA business, like, yeah, I had a couple of failures or a couple of obstacles, but it didn't take me that long to succeed. And once I hit that 10 K a month and I had it for like three to six months and I was adding more products, and I was building my income streams. That's when my life really started to soar. And then, you know, I started to travel the world and I, you know, I went to beautiful countries. I mean, I was literally just like traveling the world with my uh, laptop, you know, all I had to do was just open up my laptop, you know, manage my business, check how my products were doing, um, you know, do what I had to do. And then I closed my laptop, went to the gym, you know, hung out, had coffee, you know, went out of the town, hung out with friends, met people. And I went to such beautiful countries. I went to like, just from the top of my head, I went to Norway, I went to Iceland, I went to Fiji, I went to Finland. I mean, I lived in a lot of these places and, you know, I even like had girlfriends there. I met friends, like lifelong friends, like anytime now I have a network, like I can literally go to Norway and I know at least 10 people that I could just like hang out with or even stay with. Like, it's pretty amazing. And that's just the level of freedom that you can achieve when you even have just, you know, you make that, you take that first step, you get that first online business going and, you know, you get to 10K a month, uh, that freedom number, you know, it's really amazing. And another great thing about this too, like about 
this whole method of freedom is that when you get one business stream going, online business going, whether that's Amazon FBA, affiliate marketing, whether that's an agency, whether that's like coaching or, or starting a digital product and selling digital products, once you get one to 10K a month, then you can start another one. It's just like money trees. Think of like a tree that you know you plant and you got to plant the seeds and then you got to water the tree over and over again. You got to like watch this tree like a hawk you know, to make sure that it's growing. And then once it reaches a certain level and it starts, you know, starts to actually grow like money leaves money, uh, you can actually start to pick the money, but you still got to water the tree. And of course, it takes much less work to maintain the tree than it is to grow and plant the tree and, you know, raise the tree. And so the whole idea here that I'm teaching you and that I did myself and that works is to get one money tree going and, you know, you keep watering it, you watch it like a hawk. And then once, you know, you make money and once there's enough profit coming in where the business survives and can still thrive and you can take money out for yourself, you start removing some of the money, you keep watering it like a few times a week or whatever. I don't know gardening guys. Okay. So I don't know how often you have to water um, plants and stuff. My mom loves gardening. So maybe she has something to say about this, but <laughs> yeah, you get, you water it, you know, and then basically you got that one tree going. Now you can start another tree and whether that's another new product on Amazon to expand your brand with, whether that's a new brand, like on Shopify, whether that's uh, affiliate marketing, you start looking into affiliate marketing, whether that's, um, you know, you started, you start to coach, you start to potentially coach people about, you know, that income stream that you built. You start to make some YouTube videos, some Instagram content, some TikTok, you know, and then, you know, basically as you grow your money trees, you end up with like, you know, four to five money trees that are making you a consistent income. They're fully grown. They're matured. All you got to do is water them. You know, you got to like baby them a little bit and make sure that they're, you know, surviving, make sure that there's no pests coming in, trying to eat your trees and, you know, take your freaking trees from you. And that's freedom. Like in terms of just like the money and, in- and income, that's how you get to like 20K, 30K a month, 50K a month, even 100K a month. Obviously to break through to wealth, wealth freedom, that's a whole different ball game. That's building assets, investment, and that's for another video. But right now for the purpose of this video, you know, especially for step one, it's all about getting you to that first 10K a month. And to make this so much easier for you, I actually created a free online business quiz. It's gonna take you like 30 to 40 seconds. You're gonna answer a few questions and based on your personality and your interest and strength, it's gonna tell you the best business for you to start. So the link for that is down below. Make sure to finish this video though because there's I have, a, I have some more important things to say. So online business quiz, you can figure out the best online business for you there. And then once you figure out the best online business for you, I also put together a free course called How to Make Your First $10,000 Online. And I put this together for you with strategies that are working right now, today. And I'm constantly updating this course. So no matter when you watch this video, uh, they're going to work. Okay. But you also want to take action because, you know, obviously I can't be updating it like every day and every week. So, you know, you want to make sure that you're actually able to cash in. You're actually able to start making uh, money like right now as soon as possible. So make sure to get that link is down below. It's totally free. And, you know, you're going to be able to start making money and there's going to be gold nuggets for every single business model. I'm going to be telling you the truth about how to make money with every single one of these uh, business models. And it's not going to be some fluff bullshit like, hey, I'm going to, you know, try to sell you my course. And that's all I'm here for to do. Right. So now once you got your money right, once you got, you know, to that freedom number 10K a month, you know, maybe you got two, three money trees, got two, three online businesses, two, three sources of income. You know, they say the average millionaire has seven streams of income. I think I have seven. I don't really know. Like once you've been doing this for a while, there's just money coming in from a lot of places because, you know, you obviously put in the work every day um, and you grow a lot of things. Right. And so once you've reached that level where you're like, okay, cool. I got some income coming in. I'm not relying on a nine to five job. You know, you got your money right now. It's time to focus on your health and true wealth. I'll tell you this. True wealth is nothing without good health. And you know what real health is? feeling amazing every single day. You know, most people are used to having like minor symptoms every day. Most people are used to just like living a life where like, you know, they're, they're like tired every day. You know, they're kind of like sluggish, maybe a little bit depressed, maybe anxious. That's not good health. You know, they might tell you that that's just in your head. It's not in your head, guys. The body is such a unique and perfect creation that it's so smart that it can self-regulate and it will tell you with symptoms when something's wrong. So just remember that you were born to feel great all your life. And there's all these myths perpetuated by conventional medicine that like, oh, you know, it's normal to have symptoms as you age. I mean, think about it. You know, what do they do, right? They put you on drugs. They have their own agenda, right? And I'm just saying that, you know, maybe that's not the whole truth. So, you know, once you got some money coming in, it's time to start focusing on your health. And it's not just about, you know, exercising, eating well, obviously feeding your body, mind, and soul, doing your meditations. All that stuff is fantastic. I'm not going to say it's bad. Do that stuff, you know, eat your greens, do the juices, It's all good. But I'm going to tell you right now, 
you know, the truth about freedom, it's the truth that I actually found in my own life because of my own crazy story where I almost died. I had a very, very serious illness where I literally was almost dead like a year ago. And thankful to God, like I recovered. I found, um, you know, my doctor who saved my life, like the Mozart of medicine. This guy's, in my opinion, the best doctor in the world. Uh, he's helped save lives of like just thousands of people around the world, maybe tens of thousands, maybe even millions. I don't really know exactly, you know, how many. And he kind of became a health mentor. And through my appointments with him and through him healing me from a horrific poisoning where I was poisoned by my housekeeper for two years with thallium, with arsenic, with these deadly, deadly uh, compounds, just because he was a psychopath, sociopath, jealous fuck, to be honest with you, evil, pure evil. Um, you know, I had to go and save my own life and conventional medicine didn't do it for me because they just don't really help with like toxicology. Um, you know, for some reason that's just, you know, I found that unfortunately there's a lot of hidden truths out there. There's a lot of, you know, let's just say information that is, is, is for some reason not accessible to people. And it makes you think, you know, things that make you go, Hmm, I don't know. Right. And so what I found is that the key to health is detox. 99% of all chronic symptoms can be fixed with detox. And if you want to learn more about this whole thing, I actually created a whole story. It's a long video because, you know, I had to like talk about my story of the poisoning and how I got better uh, for my subscribers because I already had a successful YouTube channel. I had a following. People were wondering, where's Dan? Where's Dan? He wasn't making videos. You know, I was gone for like a year and a half because I just literally had to focus on surviving day to day. Like it was horrific, you know, but I'm here. And, you know, I'm here because of my purpose. Like I literally made myself better, not for myself, but for you, for you, you know, because I wanted to, when I was like at that point where I was like literally dying in my mind, I was like, okay, I have a choice. I can either just not do anything and die, or I can pump through this, push through this and save my life and do what I got to do and go through the suffering. Why? Because I couldn't die with this knowledge that I'm sharing with you right now. I couldn't. You know, what I realized is that a lot of people, the vast majority of people actually walk around with a level of toxicity they don't even know about just from living. You know, we're exposed to so many different chemicals and so many different pesticides and, you know, metals just in our environment and in our food that, you know, it, it's not good for you and it builds up in your body. And, you know, even though they say yeah, your body will process everything, no, it doesn't. There's certain compounds and certain metals that stay in your body for the rest of your life and give you symptoms on top of that. Mental symptoms, anxiety, depression, physical symptoms. You get, you know, you feel pain, like chronic pain, tiredness, sluggishness, depression. Uh, you know, you get mental illness like OCD. These are all things that can be solved by reducing your level of toxicity. As my doctor said, like I said, modern day Mozart, modern day, modern day Einstein, he said to me, your income and your wealth and your quality of life is directly proportional to your health. And the better your health is, the better your life is. And of course, the more free you are. And you're not free until your health is fucking perfect, perfect, perfect. And if you feel amazing every single day and you feel sharp, you become absolutely unstoppable. I'm going to create more videos on this subject on my channel. Stay tuned for that. Again, leave me a comment if you want to see more of those videos. Um, and obviously with your money and your health in check, now you're out of survival mode. You feel great every day. And if you look at Maslow's hierarchy of needs, there's going to be a picture of it here. I'm sure you uh, studied this in school. I did. It's a very kind of like a basic uh, psychological concept. The lowest level is survival mode. And as you rise up the levels, you actually reach the top level, which is self-actualization. And ladies and gentlemen, when you reach self-actualization, that's when you discover your real purpose in life. As your life improves and your level of freedom rises, you start to discover the true, real you. The real reason why you were put on this earth. Just like I discovered that I was put on this earth to spread the message of freedom in our modern day and age, you will discover your purpose too. I mean, I literally wake up every single morning in love with my life, excited for the day. Just like, I mean, guys, like, this is crazy. I mean, this is insane, right? And I know that I'm in complete and total alignment with my true purpose on this earth. And I'm telling you, there is no better feeling in the world. And I want to remind you too, like I said, this is not some kind of a pipe dream. This is reality. This is my reality. This is going to be your reality too. I was just a normal guy. I was just a normal guy, but I refuse to accept the status quo. I refuse to be just a cog in the machine. And if I did it, so can you. I was 40K in debt. And once I achieved that money freedom, you know, I paid it off in one single payment. One single payment, I plugged that. You know how long it would have taken me if I worked a nine-to-five job? Probably would have taken me like 20 years, right? Because you got to like be so responsible. And you got to go full Dave Ramsey money makeover, right? It's just nonsense, okay? I'm sorry, Dave. You know, if you align with Dave, no problem. Do that stuff too, but like start the online business stuff too. You know, listen to what I'm saying. And I recommend, you know, you watch this, you take this information. And, you know, if you align with people like, like that or, you know, other information, just take what's good. Take what's good you know, listen to your intuition. Okay. You know, because I can't persuade you. Only you can persuade yourself. 
But as you watch more of my content and you start seeing the truth, you start waking up. And once you find your purpose, you become so free that you literally radiate like this positive bright energy in your life that people notice and pick up on. If you look around, most people literally radiate like this enslaved energy. Like they're not really living the life that they want. They're just going with the flow, going with the motions. And once you achieve that true freedom energy, you reach the highest level of freedom, spiritual freedom. And guys, this is really where you attain freedom. You feel this energy over your day that is helping you, guiding you, supporting you. You almost feel like this like the support from the universe. Like you feel this powerful energy that just can't be stopped no matter what. No matter what anybody says, it just bounces off like as if it's just like a mirror. And this is where you meet God. You meet that God energy. You feel it. You feel him at every single moment in every single day, just all the time. You realize that you are that energy. You are the embodiment, physical representation of that true life force that you were born with that was always within you that can never be stopped. And what do you do with that? Once you have that money, freedom, you have great health and you achieve that happiness, purpose and uh, soul fulfillment, spiritual ful fulfillment, you start to help people. You start to help people in your community, in your city, and around the world. Guys, with the internet, we have become unstoppable, but only when we're free. I'm telling you, it's lonely to be out here, one of the few that are free, you know, being able to enjoy their life and being out here in beautiful New Zealand. You know, it's, it's, it's possible for you. And I want you to join me. I want you to also be free so that we can shatter the chains of slavery and bring freedom to the whole world. I'm living proof that your dreams are possible. And I want you to remember that you are the creator of your destiny. There is a force that's waiting to be awakened inside you. Let's make your life a masterpiece. I believe in you. Let's do this together. Join me. You know, I do success interviews of people who achieve freedom on my channel all the time. And the reason I do this is because I want to share these powerful stories of people that have turned their lives around. I want to be interviewing you in a year. Okay. I want this to be you. More people need to be this way. More people need to achieve this freedom. More people need to be in a place where they're just loving their life. And every single person that ends up changing their life with this, it just, you know, we live in a better world, you know? Imagine if everybody was free, how good life would be if there was no more suffering. But the only way to that is freedom. I'll see you on this side. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Go and uh, uh, do that online business quiz down below. Leave me a comment. Tell me what you think uh, about the health stuff. If you want me to do the health videos, I really look forward to doing that. There's a lot of truth there. You know, just because, like, don't brush away what you're feeling. Like I said, remember what a 10 is. Feeling amazing every single day. Feeling euphoric. If you're not there, there's truth for you to find out. And there's things you're going to do to achieve that. I'll see you on this side. There's no more waiting. Thank you so much for watching.